Okay guys, welcome back to another video. This time I'm going to give you a video about how to make a kind of a time stretch sound. A lot of people are asking for pitch shifts and stuff like that and how to do it. So um, I'm going to be doing a few videos on how to do that. But for now, uh, we're just going to do something in Renoise. And there's a really cool plugin um, that uh, gives you these kind of uh, Akai kind of sound in um, it's time stretches. And um, yeah, so we're going to check it out. So the plugin's called Akaiser. Now, it doesn't come as standard uh, with Renoise. So first of all, you have to kind of install it. Um, so what you would do is go to your tool browser up here and then if you visit Renoise like so and then you browse the tool catalog and then you'd want to look for a plugin called Akaiser which is pretty much uh, one two three four five six four, it's just here so basically you click on the Akaiser and there you have it the kind of uh, time stretch uh, plugin kind of style thing and uh, what you do is you download it here download the latest version uh, I think you want to download the one that corresponds to yours so for example I think I've got Renoise 3.0 so you want to download that and then you just double click it and then it will install the script for you as you can see here my one says uh, the script is already installed would you like to overwrite it so no I don't want to do that so okay fine but in your case it'd be yes so Moving on, so time to load a, a, a name in up. Okay, if you don't have any um, samples, don't forget you can always check out sampleoids.co.uk. I've got lots of jungle packs there. There's some free um, samples to download as well. And uh, majority of my um, sample packs on there have amen loops and stuff for you to experiment with. So. If you're short on amen, please show some love, support that site uh, because I, you know, I, I put a lot of work into it and to, to help people and uh, yeah, hopefully give you some sort of uh, inspiration. So anyway, so moving on. Okay, so that's a that's a nice, nice, nice sounding amen to do that sort of thing with. So I mean, you could do it with practically anyone here. But uh, yeah, I just chose this one. So here we go. So we're going to go to here, go to the sample editor. All right. And we're going to say, for example, get this. And uh, time stretch, perhaps maybe a snare sample, uh, which is pretty cool. So we're going to get that. Uh, hit the return key or the enter key. So that give me that. Copy that. Let's pop that over here. Press paste. And then trim that up a bit. You don't have to, but you know, it makes sense. Okay, so here we go. Now I'm gonna go into, you know what? I almost forgot how to do this now. So we need to go to tools. No, so it's an acquisitor again. If you know, I forgot how to do it. Oh, here we go, yeah. So go to process, select the area you want to um, time stretch and go to process Akaiser and then here you set your time factor so I've never been really familiar with all these different bits and bobs but they do one thing I do know is that they affect the sound in different ways so for example your time factor is how long you want to stretch so at the moment the sample is at 100% but say you wanted to make it really long you'd put that probably let's say at 500% hit process and it would stretch the snare. And that sounds just like an Akai snare. Okay, so let's do that. So that's one. Let's experiment again. So we hit that, as easy as that. Go to process, go to Akaiser, and let's try something different now. So we're gonna make that 500, but we're going to change the cycle length to maybe, let's say 5,000 and see what happens. So. You just you just got to basically experiment. Okay, so, so okay, fair enough. Correction. So the maximum cycle length you can do is two thousand. It's purely experimental, guys. There's no rules and regulations. You know that's how you do it. You just do whatever sounds good to you. So let's try that, and let's see what we got. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So let's grab this and let's try the same thing again, right? So this time 
but let's just do this to experiment to see what the different ones do, the different settings do. So let's paste that in there. So we got that one, nice straight snare. So first of all, we did this. And we're gonna grab the next one and hit the process button again, Akaiser. Now let's see what happens when we change the cycle length to 500 and make this also 500. Let's see what the difference is. Oh, so it's pretty cool. So the cycle length changes the pitch of the time stretch. So it gives you a different sound. So let's say, let's try something. So if we hit that there, we got that one. Go to here, Akaiza. Okay, so that's, uh, what was the last one we did? So cycling plus 500, let's try 200. Let's see what happens. I think it, it goes up in pitch or something. Bring that to 500. Ah, oh, cool, man. Now, I don't know about you guys, but these are really cool. I think I'm gonna save them as instruments. So I'd go to here and I'll save these as instruments that I can use later on. So for example, I have a little something in my sound library, make a new folder, call it time stretch snares. And then pop that in there. And then that snare one, and I could use these at, later on for another project and you know it's a good idea just to sort of have a little sampling session don't just rush into making a song you know get some get some ammo man to go to work so here we go so uh yep guys and also um another thing to remember is always to keep saving because you don't want um you know your computer crash and then you lose all your work so i've got snare one snare two snare three okay so what else can we time stretch let's see grab this hit the return key return key enter key go to there pop that down there place it there select all done that by apple a control a you should know that though right Akaiza, okay, so now we're gonna do a mad one. Time factor, 5,000. Absolutely mental, yeah? With a low cycle length, right? Which is like maybe 200 to give it a bit of noise. Like we just did, press process. Go missing for a while, pretty quick, wasn't it? Lovely. So there you have it. That's basically the general idea of it. It's down to you guys to experiment. Um, amen. Time stretch. It's down to you guys to experiment, um, see what you get out of it. There's another thing it does as well. It changes the pitch of it without changing the speed, changes the pitch of the sample. So let's go to here and let's say transpose. You can transpose it up to 12, which will give you an octave. Click on that. Now that is a typical jungle sanding time stretch. And that's brilliant. Just like the old Akai. So we save that as time stretch beat. P A T one. Cool, man. So I think I'm going to leave it at that. Oh, wait a minute. Let me just try one more thing. Let me just undo that a minute. That's a beautiful thing about this program. You can just undo everything all the time. You couldn't do that back in the day. Now, let me just try one more time. Right, and I'm going to try changing the... Um, the in, it, sorry, changing this setting, the enable classic algorithm. I don't know what that means or classic cyclic algorithm so let's try that now so we did that let's transpose it up 12 and see what the difference is there that took a little bit longer okay that sounds a bit cruddy to be fair um, uh, another cool thing we used to do back in the day uh, you probably uh, would have sussed this out by now if you haven't here you go reverse 
really cool for putting it at the end of beats and stuff. Okay guys, that's it for now. I'm going to be doing lots more tutorials. Also got some Logic Pro tutorials coming up. Don't forget to subscribe if you like my channel. Comment down below, share the videos, post it on your Facebook pages. Please let's go viral with this because we want to show the world how to make some old school jungle style beats. Peace.